World Jam bass player Jeff Ammond has helped fund skateboard, skateboard parks throughout his native Montana, including Missoula, Polson, and Stevensville. And today, the community of Rocky Boys Indian Reservation dusted off their skateboards for the opening of the Box Elder Community Skate Park. Evergreen Skate Parks and Ammond partnered together to construct the skate park. KPAX's Kaylee Collins takes us there for this story. Some are picking up boards for the first time. Others have been doing it for years but now they all have a place of their own. We don't have to sit around outside. Now we could just come over here anywhere, any day we want and skate. And the impact of these skate parks are felt throughout small towns in Montana. It's rad, he's getting all these parks built. I grew up uh, on a small island in Hawaii with no skate park and we finally got one and it was awesome. It was nothing like this though, ours was really bad. So if I had something like this growing up, I'd have been stoked. I probably would have been better at skating. <laughs> Jeff Amon is no stranger to the state, though. He helped build a skate park in his hometown of Big Sandy. These small towns holding a big place in his heart. I have a soft spot in my heart for these small communities, and I see that some of them are sort of dying, and sort of feel like if you put skate parks and help with some of the infrastructure of these small towns, it'll eventually people will start coming back to the small town because it's such a great place to raise a family. And inspire those already living here. I like watching the, the people doing the tricks. Do you want to be as good as them one day? Yeah. Inbox Elder, Kaylee Collins, MTN News.